Metachron is bilateral segmental testicular infarction, multiparametric ultrasound imaging with grayscale ultrasound, Doppler ultrasound, contrast enhanced ultrasound and real-time tissue elastography. Presented at a British Medical Ultrasound Society meeting Manchester 2014. Background. Segmental testicular infarction is a rare cause of scrotal pain. The sonographic appearance is a variable and may mimic a primary germ cell tumour of the testes. Contrast enhanced ultrasound and real-time tissue elastography aid in the differentiation of indeterminate intratesticular abnormalities. We document the evolving appearances of bilateral segmental testicular infarction on contrast enhanced ultrasound and real-time elastography or RTE. RTE visual scale grading score characteristics from 1 to 6 score 1 green with red areas almost completely green with some red spots a soft lesion a green lesion is again also soft and then we start to see some blue spots a more confluent blue area a predominantly blue lesion with some soft appearances and then a completely blue lesion. This is an arbitrary visual grading system for tissue stiffness on real-time elastography. We presume every lesion with grade 4 and above as being hard. And we also look at every lesion with a strain ratio of more than 2 being considered as hard. Case report. A 33-year-old healthy male with a history of acute onset left testicular pain. The testis was tender on palpation but otherwise normal and there were normal biochemical and tumour markers. The B-mode ultrasonography images of the left testis demonstrate a heterogeneous lesion with an incomplete hypoechoic rim and then ISO, hypo and hyper echoic areas. On applying a colored Doppler, there is no internal vascularity and on injection of microbubbles, i.e. sulfur hexafluoride gas with a monolipid phospholayer, layer with a B mode image there and a concurrent a uh, contrast enhanced image there there is no internal vascularity and perhaps a suggestion of a rim there and with real time elastography the lesion is here on the B mode if we then look at it here and address some areas of interest we can compare this to characteristic of score 1 this lesion is completely green but with some red spots it has a score of 1 and a low mean strain ratio of 1 indicating a soft lesion with benign etiology a urological diagnosis of focal segmental infarction was suggested 7 days after the onset of symptoms the patient experienced similar pain in the right testes this time we've examined the right testes which showed some abnormalities here at the lower pole with some hypoechoic and hyperechoic and again hypoechoic areas no internal vascularity on Doppler and again this time lesion here on B mode area of interest highlighted this lesion is almost completely green with some blue spots so grade 3 and by our criteria still a soft lesion on administration of microbubbles we have the lesion here no internal or peripheral enhancement in particular uh, left testes rescanned on day 7 the lesion is getting smaller it's now almost completely green with some blue spots i.e. still a soft lesion right testes on day 7 contrast administered 
no internal vascularity and the area which is hypo to isoechoic on B mode is enhancing in keeping with um, a ring around the lesion. So the symptoms subsided within two weeks and sonography demonstrated improvement. A further sonography examination after 50 days showed only minimal grayscale change at the site of the previous abnormalities. Discussion. Segmental testicular infarct is a rare entity that usually presents with an insidious onset of scrotal pain and tenderness with no other findings on clinical or hematological investigations. The etiology is usually idiopathic, however cases have been associated with hypercoagulability, vasculitis, torsion, trauma, infection and iatrogenic vessel damage. There has only been one other case of bilateral segmental testicular infarct which occurred in a healthy male aged 31 years, required daily follow-up ultrasound and eventual surgery. In contrast enhanced ultrasound can improve characterization of segmental testicular infarction but by better demonstrating the morphological features of the lesion, which are different from those of a hypovascular tumour. Two findings in particular on contrast ultrasound are important. Vessels can be seen for a prolonged period after injection of microbubbles with the ability to differentiate between the normal centripetal testicular arteries originating from the capsular arteries and tumour neovascularization. Perilesional rim enhancement, which is present for up to 17 days following onset of pain, is much more consistent finding than the perilesional hyperemia observed on Doppler sonography examination. The use of contrast enhanced ultrasound and real time elastography contributed to make a confident diagnosis on imaging without the need for daily sonography examinations and surgical intervention. In conclusion, multiparametric imaging is essential in order to make a confident diagnosis and avoid unnecessary repeat imaging and surgery.